and we're set for the cup. Sponsored by Great Northern. It's the beer we drink up here. And the light is on. Set to go. They stand as one. Castle Ray Kid. Away they go in the cup. And Bear Story from the inside got a nice clean start. Sakaro Sanabilski just slotting across. Wolfburn got away nice and he's the ultimate. Nawadaru want to be fairly prominent. A little bit deeper on the track, Hadouken, Star Spangle Baby, Masatora slides across. Just getting off those Castle Ray kid as they head towards the first turn. Head injure and getting back to the tail was playoffs. So passing the 1,600 metre mark, they certainly scare the plovers away and it's Wolfburn taking up the lead. Shows the way a length in front of Star Spangled Baby. He's the ultimate, slots into third and look at the favourite, Bear Story. Fourth going up the side. Hadouken's a little bit deep but improving and then Nawadaru getting into a handy spot. A length and a half back in the field to Sana Bilski. Masatora's on a move a little bit deeper on the track. Sakaro in that division. Back third last, Castle Ray Kid Hedinger and playoffs the last one. So to the back straight they go in the cup and Star Spangle Baby Hadouken out deep's going up to pressure Wolfburn and there's a line of three at the top end he's the ultimate's enjoyed a nice run and so's the favourite Bear Story Callow would have favourite backers on pretty happy terms at the moment two lengths back in the field to Nawadaru getting just a little reminder there Sana Bilski the inside has the back of the favourite and then out deep on the track Masatora a length and a half back then to Castle Ray Kid Hedinger playoffs are starting a run out deep on the track and back to the inside Sakaro. so working past the 600 metre mark and now Hadouken goes up on the outside of Wolfburn Bear Story there's a lot of room there to move and Callow's now shaking him up but these two leaders are still about two lengths in front before the turn and Bear Story's really flat to the boards folks to get to him and Callow's under pressure it's Wolfburn straightening for home with Hadouken they'll balance up at the three Bear Story in third spot he's just battling and then Sonna Bilski and running on fairly was Sakaro but it's Hadouken it's Wolfburn Wolfburn Hadouken they're going to fight it out, Hadouken on the outside Wolfburn trying ever so hard Hadouken, Wolfburn Hadouken takes it, Hadouken wins the cup, a neck on the line to Wolfburn Bear Story third, tight to fourth, you had Sana Bilski Sakaro, a gap in the field then to playoffs, Masatora Castle Ray Kid, he's the ultimate Nawadaru, Star Spangle Baby and Hedinger the last one home and Hadouken Tyler Schiller, Peter Roble Three starts in Darwin, and they've had three wins, a big win in the Great Northern Darwin Cup. Well, I think we've just seen, quite arguably, the toughest win in a Darwin Cup. That horse had no right to win. He'd done too much work. He worked from the time they jumped. He got forced wide on the first turn, and then Tyler Schiller went forward. He tackled Wolfburn. And Bear Story, the horse with the run of the race, was entitled to run past them all, but he just kept kicking Hadouken, and he's delivered Peter Roble a Darwin Cup. What a plan, what a win. And here he is with Andrew O'Toole. Well, Peter, many congratulations. A long-term plan has paid off here. How do you feel? Yeah, actually, I'm um, a little bit lost for words, you know, going out of the straight and down the backside there. The first time I thought, well, it's not looking pretty, so... Um, I, I thought him doing that amount of work, he's not going to have the ability to beat Bear Story. But look, I, I think it's testament to the horse that how well he's adopted to the dirt here, um, how well he's acclimatised to the Darwin lifestyle. And um, yeah, you know, thank Tyler for coming and riding him. Thank the owners for, you know, entrusting me in when I mentioned bringing the horse to Darwin. You know, it's not a cheap or an easy exercise coming from the Gold Coast. But look, all's well that ends well. and. What can we say, mate? Outstanding. I think he's adapted to the uh, Darwin lifestyle almost as well as his trainer. I, I think his trainer adapted to the lifestyle a little bit better because um, early in the morning he had a spring in his step. A lot of mornings up here, there was no spring in my step. But, um, yeah, just a marvellous result, marvellous result. Mate, he covered that much ground. Greg Radley said in commentary how uh, how, how tough he was and how, how he managed to out-tough Wolfburn all the way to the line after the work he did. Yeah, look, he, he's a tough horse, and he keeps putting his head out. And I think when he won the Bunton, he, even though people said it was an inferior field, he ran good time and probably, you know, buttoned off probably at the furlong in, in that bun time. So today he had to be tough in order to be there. And, and the fact that he keeps putting his head out, keeps wanting to win, just, you know, it's testament to the horse how brave he is. He probably lacks a little bit 
in ability wise but like in just that toughness and mental toughness he's got it all there and um, yeah it's an amazing result amazing well many congratulations Pete you're a Darwin Cup winning trainer go and enjoy it thank you very much thank you all right we'll get the camera over to Tyler now you want to have a breath you want to have a drink of water oh, yeah I didn't get to cool down from the last race but <laughs> we stuck it out and uh, the horse was very brave what an incredible performance did you ever give up thinking you'd done too much I didn't think he did too much because I was actually pretty quiet on him early. I let him jump, seen if I could get across early. When I couldn't, I thought, I might as well just ride him a touch quiet, but still out of that kick back out wide. I wasn't using him to go forward at that point, and it wasn't until we straightened up down the back till we got down that downhill, I thought I could use him without doing too much while the others were all stacked up. And to his credit, he kept going. He was, he was probably a little bit kidding to the other horse under the field that I got, got from him, but... He still won in the end pretty easy. Because you really put it to Wolf Burn. How did you feel when you went up and started to really attack the leader? Um, I thought I was the winner there, to be honest. I was just questioning whether he was going to keep going with me or not. And when he did, it was sort of worrying my horse out of it. But to his credit, he kicked again at the 100. And inside the 50, he was never going to get beat. Were you aware that Callow had such a good run on your back? I knew he was somewhere behind me, but I, I was hopeful that he wouldn't stay second up coming up to 2000 I was hopeful that we were going to have the fit horse and no weight and pretty much that's all we did was just outstay him I think with the with the lightweight. Great job by Peter Robel to get this horse up here in three out of three. Yeah fantastic for him to come this way win a listed listed cup he's come a long way since he was at Gabby Ellis's down at down at Warwick Farm and winning at Goulburn and places like that so um, I'd say anyone could bring one up here and sort of have a bit of fun it's lovely weather tracks good and uh, yeah we're getting the better horses now. What do you think of the dirt? I like it at the moment. I, I think I've had three rides on dirt in my life for three wins because my first one was at Hilston, so I've been pretty lucky. <laughs> You're well done. Thank you. Two for two today, Tyler Schiller. And isn't it an interesting insight? You think, Andrew, that that horse is working overtime. Down the straight, he's trapped wide, he's five wide. He can't get in. He's in no man's land going up the hill from the mile to the 1400 but he hadn't used him it wasn't until he got him down the back and he started to ask him and he always felt confident what a staying performance that that was one of the the best staying performance we've seen i think it's a him brought everyone to their feet and hawks bay always did but that's something special we just saw then yeah absolutely agree you've hit the nail on the head there was a there was a performance right out of the top drawer uh with a with a fine fine rider from uh, new south wales here and uh well done to pete robo what a great performance at training wolf burn no problem at 2050 he just got out muscled yeah he did so he, he did run it he went great he went great and the back is a bear story go home thinking we had every chance it did Every possible chance. I think uh, Sakaro's run fourth, Greg. I can't quite see on that semaphore board what's run fifth. They've run 203.78. So they're outside the track record uh, set uh, last year by Write Your Name. But a long neck margin in a very, very memorable Darwin Cup. I'm glad you and the Darwin crowd got to see Tyler Schiller. He's best here today. Fantastic. Two outstanding rides oh. to, to get them home here on the dirt. Two tough rides. To, to keep going. He'll, get, he'll, he'll sleep well tonight. <laughs> he he'll need a big drink after that. But we get to see that week in, week out in Sydney. And he's become one of the, the top riders in, um, in our neck of the woods. So for him to come up here and, and ride so well in a, um, in a Darwin Cup, I think it was great for the Territory. Oh, absolutely, uh, Greg. To, to have uh, the riders of the calibre of, uh, of Tyler here and the Noel Callows and the, uh, and the girls from Victoria yeah, who are just Craig great riders it. as well, and Craig knew it. It really uh, capped off what's been a very, very good carnival. Apart from Tommy Doyle having a fall early in the carnival, it's been a safe carnival. Uh, and uh, as you and I know, getting to the end of this day safely is a big thing. Exactly right, and we've done it. And uh, now this track will have a bit of a rest. It will. We won't be back on the Darwin track uh, racing that is till the 31st of August uh, in between times we go to Catherine great trip down the uh, down the road in, uh, in about 12 days time and uh, we prepare for next year. Well Peter Robel a former great rider himself is now a Darwin Cup winning trainer and Tyler Schill will never ever forget his trip to Darwin where he rode in races 9 and 10 and he won the final two races including the Darwin Cup on Hadouken.
the action continues here, but off the track for the crowd here at Fanny Bay Racecourse. We're going to say goodbye. Thank you to Andrew O'Toole and uh, Fletch and all the crew here who bring you the wonderful pictures, the unique pictures from the top end of Australia. Thanks for joining us on Darwin Cup Day, and there's more to come on the other side of this on Sky Thoroughbred Central. <laughs>